welcome to how I became a basic white girl for a week. If you're wondering why I'm wearing basically my pajamas and also I'm kind of talking a little um, less loud, it's because it's currently like 1am when I'm filming this. So that's why I'm in my pajamas for obvious reasons. Anyway, let's roll the intro before we get started. So let's start from the very beginning, shall we? At the very beginning, God created... Uh, at the very beginning of this, uh, my friend Ryan, right here, he decided to text me for like a last week of school prank. And the prank was, I pretend like I have a girlfriend to prank the entire friend group, but mainly his girlfriend into thinking, yeah, well, I have a girlfriend. Normally, with this type of prank, people, they would probably just, uh, why is that light flickering? I, I don't know. People would just say they have a girlfriend and then it would be the end of it and people probably wouldn't believe them. So, to ensure that they believed me, I decided to take it way too far. By this I mean, I decided to make a fake Instagram account for her and use it, make a fake email as well and use the email attached to the Instagram account so it couldn't be traced back to me even if you looked at it. I also had my friend Ryan whose idea this was. I added his home phone number so he could text me on that number as Leah, aka my, my girlfriend. So let's just say this fooled a lot of people. And also, here's a screenshot of um, a text I sent to my friend's girlfriend as Leah, well, on DM to her on Instagram. Here's my Instagram profile for Leah. As you can see, it's a gender swap photo of me I used on FaceApp, but before it was literally just the sunset photo uh, at the bottom, but... At the end of the day, people thought it was a good prank. Because, especially on how far we went out with it, great. But normally, this would be the end of it. Last day of school, we tell everybody that it was all a prank, and. But this prank was a prank that kept on giving. Now, I, for the first time in my life, got to experience what I bet a lot of women experience in their life. <laughs> By that I mean a bunch of creepy guys' DMs on Instagram. Let's talk about it. So I'm going to blur out this guy's uh, profile picture and username. Let's look at his bio, bio shall we? Dirt bike life. Just a doofus that will make you laugh. But if you start wanting to talk, lie, and unloyal, you definitely won't be getting my greatness. Bye. Hold up. What? The first, like, sentence is okay. But if you stop wanting to talk, lie, and unloyal, that, that's not even grammatically correct, man. If you're gonna insult women like that, or like whoever you're DMing, because you DM'd me cause, and on my girl's account, at least use grammar correctly, lie, and unloyal. And this is exactly what he did. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You definitely won't be getting my greatness. Bye. What? Dude is so full of himself. No, uh... When I originally started talking with this young fellow, I assume he's a young fellow, I didn't think I'd, I, I didn't think he'd be the type to block me in the end, so I didn't get all the screenshots I needed, but I did get a few. Now, he kept, like, s trying to start conversations like, hey, and I would respond like, hey, normal. But then he would ask me, like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, why? And then that's when it starts to get a little weird. He decides to ask me what I'm doing, and I just tell him stuff. And he's like, boring stuff? I remember this vividly. He called me a liar and then unloyal because I wouldn't tell him, even though I've never met him in real life. I don't know him, so why would I tell you exactly what I'm doing if I don't know you, bro? It's simple. But... His mind is like, oh, you sound like you talk to me? You're, you're unloyal. I'm loyal to who? Why would I be loyal to you? You're just a random guy who DM'd me. Now, let me look, take a look at what else he said and what I had for my screenshots first. But are you a decent person? I don't know where you got that from. From you. Are you teen too? This is like, why? So I asked him why. Because I am. Are you a man? This is where I thought he was kind of getting onto, onto my thing. But I might have rizzed my way out of the conversation. 
I just said, huh? And then he was like, huh? You don't have a post of yourself. There's nothing about you. Who are you, LOL? As I said before, I do not like to disclose myself to people I don't know. Now, this is kind of like where the conversation takes a turn. Because he says, well, it's a social media, which is a fair point. But it doesn't, and I responded something like, well, it doesn't mean I have to be social. And that's when he blocked me. So, I did not have screenshots from that, sadly. I guess that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed me reviewing uh, a prank I did recently and uh, some creepy guys. Alright, later.